Yeah, I'm excited. You know, it's been it's, since the draw has been made. It's um, it's a game that uh, it's most probably one of the great games this football club has had in its history. You know, I think next year is, is it next year or year after it's 150 years this club has been gone. We haven't had too many occasions where you can say you're playing a top top European team at, uh, at the Britannia. So, and you know, the last four four games we've, we've been disappointed with the results, but not you know really the performance. If you have a look at even Saturday's game against Fulham. We made two mistakes in the first 20 minutes, and Fulham were, were, were better than us. From that point onwards, you know, they personally, I think they should have a player off the pitch. They don't. We get Ufi sent off the week before. It's just little things that go for you, little things that don't go for you. Um, but after that, I thought we were the better team. In the second half, we certainly took the game to them. You know, uh, you know, with a little bit of luck, we could have scored two or three goals. Oh, it, it, it's awesome. it's it's very very. You know, I went to a game last night. And I was speaking to someone who'd been involved in. In these games, and he says it, it, you know, it's, uh, it, it's such a, a difficult competition to be in because you're playing Thursdays and Sundays, and, and then you're off and running again. If you look at it, if we weren't in the, um, you know, the, the European Cup, or you wouldn't be here sat year, I wouldn't be here sat year, so it'd be really good for me. <laughs> now, nah, really, listen, we're absolutely delighted to be in the competition. We're desperate to beat Valencia tomorrow. Night. Yeah, I was looking forward to it. Obviously, you know, it's, uh, there's not many, not been many opportunities, you know, in previous seasons to, to play the likes of Valencia at uh, you know, Britannia, and I think um, you know that certainly all the lads in the dressing room are really looking forward to it, and everyone wants to play in it. And it's, uh, it's a big, big day for for the team, you know, but in a while we can't. That was, you know, as far as we can, I think Valencia is going to be a, a massive, massive test for us. Um, you know, some top, top sides in this uh, competition. Um, you know, and you've got to play a player. So many games to, to get to the final, so it's um, it's got you know it's such a tough competition to, to get in, you know, to do well in. But uh, it's certainly something that we're um, you know we're looking forward to. And you know, like I say, over two legs, uh, a game against Valencia, it's, uh, it's great for the fans and, and for the players as well. I don't know, um, you know, certainly I've not been in the last few squads. Um, you know, I think you know, whoever takes over, uh, um, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, will start picking me again. But I think mean, it's only uh, you know what you do for your your club um, you know, warrants uh, getting in the England set up again and so I've got to start playing you know, I've, got, I've got to play well for Stoke and uh, score goals and, and you know, hopefully that will come yeah. now everybody's excited like I say it's you know it's the, the two games I don't think it's just the game here you know in Stoke I think there's a lot of supporters who, who can't wait to go out to Spain as well and experience the the atmosphere out there which is supposed to be absolutely fantastic so you know it, it's 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 just fantastic for the for the city and Thursday night, for you know, for as tough it is then on the Sunday to, to get back up and running again, the Thursday nights, the games we've had at our place, the, the atmosphere with the crowd has been fantastic. And what we've you know done so far, you can double that on Thursday night, you know, because they will know that we're up against it, and they're at their best when we're the underdogs, and we certainly are the underdogs on Thursday. Well, I thought it was the toughest because of the travel, um, because of the experience that Persictus, obviously uh, Dynamo Kiev. And even you know the, the uh, Tel Aviv, the, the experience they've had in Europe over what we've got, um, it was most probably the toughest for the travel and everything else. But we've done fantastic, and we deserve to be through to the, the knockout stages again. And like I say, to get Valencia, the team has just been knocked out of the Champions League, to get a top top club and a club that's only just behind um, Barcelona and Madrid in Spain, which is a, another great footballing nation, for them to be coming here. Fantastic. Performance is the most important thing. I think we, we have to, you know, uh, make sure we go out there and, and, and not be, you know, overawed by anything. Just go out there and play the way we can play. And if we can get our forwards playing well, then I think we'll cause them a lot of problems. I really do. But on Sunday, go out there and I'll draw about their court playing out there and watch them. They're a fantastic team. You know, the, the, the coach, um, you know, you, sometimes you go and watch a game of football. And you can't see an identity with the team. You can't see what they're trying to achieve and everything. But he, you know, he's a young coach, and he's got the team very, very well organised, both off the ball and in possession. And you know, they they, they impress you. You know, he's had to sell some of his best players um, to you know to finance things that are going on, and he's done that very well. Um, and he's put together a very, very exciting team. They've, they've got some honestly terrific players, and it will be a great, great game for our supporters. I think you know everyone knows about, about Valencia and you know what they offer and uh, you know obviously you know what Spanish football like uh, you know like the rest of the lads um, 
course, are a, a top, top side, you know, they move the ball very well. And, uh, you know, that's not saying that we'll be overruled by the occasion. I think, you know, we play top teams in this in this division that we're in. So um, we'll be used to playing top, against top players, players who uh, you know, play the way they do. So, um, you know, it'll be a test for us, but it's not something we'll be overruled by. You know, we'll, we'll go there and, um, and look, certainly at the Britannia. Uh, we look to get a good result. Obviously, you know, whenever I've, I've played in Europe, you know, in the Champions League for, for Liverpool or you know, for Portsmouth, I've played in Europa League and Europa Cup as well. So um, you know, I've always, I've always been very proud of the goals I've scored in Europe and, and long may that continue. And you know, I hope to to continue, you know, past this the Valencia tie as well. You know, we've we've lost a, a couple recently, but um, you know, we've, we've we've not been playing badly, and certainly, and uh, you know, I certainly envision us, you know, getting. You know, bouncing back and you know, hopefully starting at Valencia, we can, we can get goals and, and play well. And uh, you know, certainly that, that, that you know, goes for me as well. We'll have a look what um, I went to see the uh, the Crawley game last night, and, and uh, unfortunately we have to play Thursday and then Sunday morning, um, which you know is a massive, massive ask for us. And we, we're desperately keen to do well in in the both cup competitions. To have two games, two massive games, put so close together, you know, you, you need sometimes a little bit of help from the people above. And I don't think we've got any help whatsoever. Um, and like I say, we've treated both competitions um, in the right spirit, in the right way. And, and sometimes you need to do that. You need a little bit of help back um, to put us on Sunday morning. Uh, you know, to travel all the way down to Crawley after playing Valencia Thursday night, and then play Sunday morning. I think it's. I don't. You know, I'm very, very disappointed with the way that's worked out. And then to have to go back out there then the following Thursday. You know, it's uh, it's disappointing. We want to do well. We want to be involved in these cup competitions. And sometimes, you know, people have to to look at it and say, well, for for clubs who do approach it in the right way and want to try and, and put their strongest team out, you know, let's let's you know try and help them a little bit. Um, otherwise, you get situations where, and it happens, where, where teams just don't play their best teams because the priorities are elsewhere. You know, the the, the game. Is, is a big game, but it's a game. You know, the the, the end result is the most important thing. And um, like I say, the uh, the atmosphere will be fantastic tomorrow. Night. Uh, I, I, like I say, I think our supporters uh, rec will recognise and realise that the team needs help, and that's when they're at their best. They're they're, they're just extraordinary. Then, and I I, I think it's going to be a special. It'll be a special night. What we have to do is make sure we're up um, and running and giving them something to. Do. We pitch back out again to you know the, the, the regular size. It makes no difference. We played the sixth this year, and Dynamo and Kiev, okay, yeah, the two top teams, um, Zagreb, came here and, and again they're a top team. You know they, they move the ball around as quick as uh, as anybody. It makes no difference. I'm not too sure. Apart from the Champions League, I'm not too sure all the cup competitions are as held in it, in as high as teams they used to be. You know, the big thing is, is the Premiership is the, is the, you know, the, the, the goose is laying the golden egg. So, you know, that's always going to be a priority, and that's my point. You know, if, if the cup competitions want to hold a little bit more esteem, you know, then put them in, 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 you know, slots where you have time to prepare for them, time to pick your best team, time to, you know, to, to move on to the next game without any worries. And I think sometimes, you know, the, 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 the powers to be. You know, they're, they're moan and groan that, that people are not putting their best teams out, and then they put a fixture list together that is quite extraordinary. I, whoever I pick, I rely on the team, and I have confidence and, and faith that the team will go out there and have a go, win, lose, or draw. The thing about the football club is that you know we have we have some great, you know, great lads. And I brought Babson, Woodgate, uh, Peter in, and, and, and people like that. And the, 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 if, if you speak to my coaching staff. The greatest thing about these lads is how down to earth they are. You know how, how they've come to this football club and just, you know, mixed in. You know, and, and I know I don't want to make his head grow too big, but he's been absolutely fantastic. Peter's been, you know, he's been a dream to work with. Not only that, it, it, you know, it's um, people don't see it. It's the work and the stuff they do away from you lot that catches the eye. And you know, even spending time with the kids, doing things that other people don't see. You know, these lads are, you know, like I say, not just Peter, but you know, like I say, up some Woodgate, the people that you'd say, well, they've had great careers, they've been fantastic, they're absolutely, you know, I can't speak um, highly enough of them. They've, they've been really, really brilliant, brilliant people, and that's that's as important as top players. Thank you. Thank you. I spoke to Steve Holland 
Uh, Chelsea knocked them out last time and, and Steve said that I think Valencia had 75% of the play and that was at Stamford Bridge and they broke away three times, scored three goals but he said it certainly wasn't a 3-0 zone. So that, that's how difficult it's going to be. The, the great thing about being at home first is the fact that we start level so you know it's up to us and um, you know as long as we uh, approach it in the right way in the right manner as long as we work as hard as what we can we've got tools in the team I think that can cause some problems um, but they, they, they are you know they're the top like I say the supporters will be it'll be a great game for our supporters to watch the ball night. Well, yeah they, you know we'll look at it and we'll, we'll pick the team that we think can beat Valencia you know I went to watch Crawley last night and, and we're desperately disappointed that we have to play Thursday night late and then we've got to play Sunday morning and in two cup competitions that we're desperately keen to do well in and it just stretches you, you know and, and sometimes you know these people want their cup competitions to be um, acknowledged and respected a lot more um, with it you know with teams putting their best teams out well what they have to do as well is look at the fixture list and ha have a look at the you know the the, the damage that sometimes can be caused if those games are so close and um, you know I'll pick a team to get a result on Thursday night but I'll also have in mind that you know we have to go to Crawley on the, the Sunday and we're desperate to do well in the FA Cup again so you know I, I drove down to Swindon I went to Spain on Sunday I drove down to Swindon last night to watch them it's my only first and only opportunity I could get personally to watch them the boys have watched them and um, you know you, you do you know you, you've got things on your mind it would have been lovely if we could have played Wednesday night and then Sunday that gives you a great opportunity it gives you a chance to, to recover you know the drive down to Crawley is going to be four and a half five hours you know then we've got to drive back um, it's, it's, it's a disappointing like I say a, a, a disappointing um, to us that the the, the, uh, the powers to be have given us that Sunday morning slot we you know given a little bit more space and a little bit more time then you can approach it in a, in a much more confident manner. But we, you know, we, the lads can't wait for Thursday night, and hope to God they can't wait for Sunday as well, because that's as important. Yeah, we're talking. We, you realise we're talking about Stoke City, Stoke City again to an FA Cup final, playing Valencia in the European Cup. Yeah, it's mag magnificent, isn't it? Really, it's absolutely fantastic. We'll sell out, and and like I said, it'll be. You know, our supporters have have, have been fantastic ever since we got in the Premiership. And this will be a. This will be a, hopefully, fingers crossed. We'll give them something to cheer about. And this could be the icing on the cake. This could be the one that actually does take the roof off the, the stadium. And um, you know that's what we need tomorrow night. We need 92, 93, 94 minutes of absolute mayhem on the terraces to keep our players going. I just think it's going to be a special night for everybody involved at the football club. You know, as I've just said, you know, we, we went to a cup final last year. Um, you know, we're playing Valencia in a knockout stage of the European Cup competition on a Thursday night. It's going to be sold out. The atmosphere is going to be unbelievable. You know, we've played 40 games now, so we've been, we've we've travelled a long, long distance. And the players deserve this opportunity. The supporters deserve the opportunity to see, you know, a, a great one of the great European sides. What we've got to do now is make sure that we, uh, you know, we turn up and and give it the best we can. I spoke to Dan. Dennis was here last night, uh, uh, yesterday afternoon. Dennis Smith. And he was talking about Ajax and you know the two games they played and you know drawing one in, one each at home and then nil nil away and they go away on oh God got through on the away goals. So um, and he thinks it's uh, you know it's as big a night if not a bigger night than that now because of the way football is and that uh, you know that's one of the great players who's played for this football club. So you know I can't wait. Like I said the. the I really do think tomorrow will be a special occasion for our supporters and, and it's a, an opportunity to to really, really get behind the lads and um, let's see if we can take this, the roof off the Britannia Stadium, it'd be fantastic. We, we need to be as one tomorrow night, we need the supporters and the players to be joined, you know, they, they talk about the 12th man, we need 20, 28,000 men tomorrow night to win this game and we need it right from the first whistle to the last whistle. When you look at it, we've tried to give them an extra. We've given them an extra day off. we been very gentle with them yesterday. You know, like I say, I'm, I'm desperately disappointed in, in respect of the fact that we have to play a massive game on a Thursday night, and then another massive game Sunday morning. You know, when when you know that there's there's enough people in control of these uh, fixtures to have given us a late afternoon kickoff. You know, in, on Sunday, um, which would have given us a little bit more time to recover. But you know. That's the way it's gone, and you know we are stoked, and we'll get on with it. Yeah, like I say, you know, you you want to treat these competitions with the greatest respect.
Um, but we need a bit of help as well when you're doing it. Tony, you've talked about the game at Chelsea that Valencia had and said that they had most of the possession. Our supporters have got to be patient as well as behind the team tomorrow, haven't they? Yeah, they, they'll, they'll have to, they'll have to recognise and realise that um, you know they will dominate possession. You know that's you know that's the way it'll be. They dominated possession against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. So if they're going to do that, they'll certainly do it at our place. But um, you know it's not that. It's uh, it's making sure that we're set up in the right way that we can cause them problems. And you talked about the difference in, in the standings in terms of world football. Stoke play Crawley, no disrespect to Crawley on Sunday, but Valencia have got a home game against Barcelona. Yeah, which is fantastic as well. Um, you know, but they play, is it Sunday night? Yeah. That's all my argument is yeah. we play Sunday morning. But we'll get to see um, maybe a few ways of getting past them thanks to Barcelona, <laughs> eh? Well, we've watched them, uh, uh, Mark and... Um, uh, AD went out and watched the Barcelona game when they drew one each and came back and were very, very impressed with them. Um, they're a good side. And finally from me, please don't talk about the roof going off the stand because the last time the roof came off the stand at the Vic, we were in big trouble. <laughs>